Welcome to the homework for lesson five. This is module eight of second grade. Get your name on here first. And it says circle the shapes that could be the face of a cube. And uh, a face of a, an object is a flat surface. And uh, so these are all flat shapes. And it had just uh, for a cube, all the faces of a cube have to be flat. Uh, then they have <laughs> like all faces have to be flat they have to be squares uh, all of them have to be squares they can't just be rectangles like this guy so he can't be but that's a square and believe it or not this is a square i know a lot of times people look at that and think it oh it's a diamond because it's on its corner uh but it's just a square turned on its turned on its corner that's all it is it's still a square so it could be it could be the face of a cube And what is the most precise name of the shape you circled? It's a square. And by and most precise, and what we mean by that is that, well, I mean, we could also call it a rectangle or a parallelogram or a polygon or a quadrilateral or a rhombus or a kite. I mean, we could call it a lot of different things, but uh, we call it a square. We know exactly what it is. How many corners does a cube have? A cube has, if you think about the top face of a cube, then there's four corners on the top and four on the bottom. That's eight. How many edges does a cube have? Think about there's a square on the top, that's four edges, and a square on the bottom, that's four more, eight. And then there's four more edges that connect the corners of those um to connect those the four corners of those squares so think of like uh like columns holding up the roof or something like that and so that's uh three sets of four which is 12. how many faces does a cube have well it's got a top and a bottom a front and a back and a left and a right that's six and uh, one of the ways you can remember that really easily is think about a uh, regular die, a dice. Um, it goes from one to six. So that's six numbers. That's an easy way to remember. Draw six cubes and put a star next to your best one. Okay, so our trick was for drawing these that you draw a square first. And there are other tricks to use for different kinds of drawings of cubes. And then you make sort of an L. And then there, there, and there. Connect the ends. There's one. I'll draw another one. And it could make it go in this direction. There, there, and there. And here's another one. Some of the problems that happen when you're first starting to draw these using this method is that you might start your kind of upside down L right at the, you might start it too close to the corner of the square. And then you end up having to go straight out like that. It doesn't really look quite right. Here's your fourth cube. And that's not really a very good square. Oops, I'm doing this backwards. Let's go to a race. The eraser's not erasing. There we go. Make the L first. And here's my fifth one. And here's my sixth one. I'm trying to keep straight lines for my cube. Here's my L. And I'm supposed to put a star next to my best one. I think this is probably 
my best one. So I'm going to put a star there. Connect the corners of the squares to make a different kind of drawing of a cube. This is a different way to draw it. So you've got, um, this is kind of like a drawing that's called a net, a net really. And what you do when you draw it, I'm just going to show this. You've probably seen it in class. Somebody might have shown it to you. You draw a square and then you draw another square that has a corner inside the first square. And then you start connecting corners like this. And that's called a net because you can see through the middle of it to see the back. Like it's uh, made out of glass or something like that. So you can see through the inside. But these are not because the front face here is blocking out the back, the back face there. So these aren't really nets, but they kind of remind me of them. So I thought I would just show that particular way to draw them. Maybe you already knew that way that I just showed you. But we're just connecting these corners here. And you can look up like that too. And they can come from this side. And they can go like that too. If you use a straight edge to connect these corners, then it's going to look a lot better. Patricia used the image of the cube below to count seven corners. Explain where the eighth corner is hiding. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where is the eighth corner? Well, that's where you can draw your net, like I had in that other one. So here's the... You can draw your net to show where it's hiding. That's the back corner right there. The back corner is hidden by the front face. Right, that's why you can't see it. It would be, let's see, from that corner there, parallel to the front edge, and this would come parallel to that there, so it would be right there. There is a back, right, I should say back, right, bottom, corner, right, because there's a back, right, top corner and a back, right, bottom corner. So we'll make sure we're talking about exactly the right corner that we mean. Hiding. behind and what's it hiding behind it's hiding behind this front face so hopefully you got that and you can get that word that front face just get that make sure that that's in there and say that that's what's hiding that back corner and you want if you want to describe which corner it is that hiding which corner it is that's hiding that's the eighth corner uh, you can just make sure you describe it if you're going to describe it by where it is make sure you it's back it's in the back it's on the right side and it because the the one that's in the back on the left side you can see it right there but the one that's the eighth one that you can't find